Hello world, this is Random Fix, and I get a lot of questions regarding my drive cycle videos, particularly the drive cycle video that pertains to the catalyst monitor, which needs to be complete to go and get the tags for your vehicle. And so in this video today, I'm gonna go ahead and try out this DuraLube catalyst treatment right here. And this is supposed to help with that dreaded P420, which is the catalyst deficiency code. So stay tuned and let's try this out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna be trying out this Dura Lube in the vehicle here. So I'm gonna go and use this OBD2 scanner to go reset the drive cycle. We're gonna drive the vehicle without this to see how long it's gonna take for the catalyst monitor to get ready. And then we'll put this in to see if there's any difference. And that way you guys can see for yourself if this does make a difference or it doesn't make a difference because you can put anything on the front of a box. It doesn't mean necessarily that it's true. So let's go ahead and give this a try so you guys don't have to go and possibly waste your money. So we got the OBD2 scanner here. And when we check the inspection monitors right now, we're gonna see that all the monitors are ready. So there we go, we got all the monitors ready. The main monitor that we're checking in this video is gonna be the catalyst or the cat monitor. So let's go ahead and go into OBD2. Now I'm gonna go ahead and erase everything. And, okay, so everything's erased. Now if we check the inspection monitors again, we can see that none of the monitors here are ready, including the catalyst monitor. I'm gonna go ahead and let this vehicle warm up for 10 minutes. So the time right now is 7.17. And then we're gonna go and hit the road. I'm gonna try to do the same drive every single time I do this. And I do have to apologize, we might have to do this at night because I live in California and the traffic here is crazy. So let's see what happens. So I've reset the trip meter right here to zero and this is gonna be trip A. And this AL329 is pretty nice as if any of the monitors set, it'll go ahead and update automatically and I don't have to go rescan it in the past with cheaper OBD2 readers. I had to go rescan, so this is really nice. And while the vehicle is warming up, let's take a look at what this product actually claims. It says to use when the check engine light comes on, protects converter from oil pistons, helps pass emissions tests, maintains catalytic efficiency, it says guaranteed. There it talks about that P420 code and it says to try this before replacing the catalytic converter. And here are the directions. I'm supposed to use this with 16 gallons of fuel. And here are some more claims about the product. Protects the catalytic converter from oil poisons. Helps maintain catalytic converter efficiency. Lowers tailpipe emissions. Helps with the valve seating. Can help with dirty or clogged catalytic converters. Emissions testing is environmentally beneficial. Thermal stable and helps increase fuel efficiency. And it claims it raises octane formulated to protect and treat the catalytic converter and exhaust system from oil poisons. This will aid in reducing the carbon footprint of your vehicle and improving overall performance, helping to increase fuel efficiency and protect your converter. Benefits, use when warning light is activated, use before or prior to replacing catalytic converter, protects catalytic system from oil poisons, reduces phosphorus and zinc retention levels at the catalyst intake and lowers tailpipe emissions. And it looks like it has some sort of picture of a honeycomb of a catalytic converter here. And there's a part number and it's made in the USA. So it's almost been 10 minutes now. I got this mounted in the right way so we can see it. And if you guys need additional help with your vehicle, you'll find links to each make in the video description box down below. And at the end of this video, I'll actually show you guys what a drive cycle looks like by performing it for you guys. So this video is gonna be more focused on the catalytic converter monitor. Let's go hit the road. And every day I drive this, I'll take the same path to my sister's house. That'll be a good reference point and I'll take the same road. And the AC is off and it'll be off every time I do this test. So check that out. We got the ETR monitor 
ready and this is not one of the monitors that I was actually looking for however if you live near an area with hills and you get to the top of the hill and you want that monitor to get ready just let off the gas and it'll take care of the monitor setting so I just coast down the hill and this was less than 4.3 miles I get a lot of questions about the EGR monitor and how to set it that's how you set it just let the vehicle coast especially if you have a hill near your house let's see if we can get this O2 or catalyst monitor to set next I am driving between 65 and 75 miles an hour AC is obviously off and I'm gonna go and drive the same way once we put the dura loop catalytic converter treatment in there check that out guys less than seven miles and this catalytic converter got ready so that is gonna be our baseline and we're gonna see if the dura loop actually makes a difference so the gas light came on we've driven 20 miles the fuel economy for the last 500 miles has been 27.7 and we're gonna go gas it up with the same exact gas and then we're gonna go and throw the catalytic converter treatment in there and in California when you see a gas station like this for 659 you just keep driving past so I'm gonna go to my favorite gas station now which has a much better price on gas and here's my gas station that I go to which is gonna be 589 and yeah, this is getting expensive too, so this kind of sucks. So I'm going to dump the whole bottle in here. And instead of filling up the gas tank, I'm only going to have 5 gallons of fuel in here. This car holds a total of 18. And I want to go ahead and give this the best chances of showing us that it can make a difference. I'm gonna use the same creative fuel as I always do. So we had about two gallons in the car, got three gallons here, so we should be good should have more than a little bit over a quarter tank so since the gas station we went ahead and drove a few more miles so we drove 13 miles since the gas station I already reset the fuel economy and we're gonna now go and reset the drive monitors and then in about three hours, just like I did last time, I'm going to go and let the vehicle sit. I'm going to start it, let it idle for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to take the same exact drive and see what happens. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. And again, the catalyst monitor and the oxygen sensor are not ready. Let's go and try this out. One thing that's a little different this time is that we actually have a pending code, a P101 for the mass airflow sensor which was not there last time. Let's see if this gets in the way as we already started the test. I'm gonna take the same exact route, drive the same exact speed. I have the same exact gas. The only thing that's different now is that we have that Dura Loop catalyst monitor treatment in there. Hey everybody, it's day two of the Dura Loop catalyst treatment. We got one more minute for the warm up here. I've gone ahead and reset all the monitors we got the door loop in the tank and i drove it around for about an hour today so i made sure everything got through the system ac everything's off and let's see if this really makes a difference the distance to beat is going to be seven miles check it out guys we actually got the catalyst monitor ready 4.9 miles that is really cool and I am really surprised that that happened wow okay that is really a big improvement and you guys saw it right here at 4.9 miles or maybe a little bit below as I'm trying to 
make sure that I pay special attention to the road. We got the catalyst monitor ready and that was actually pretty exciting. So if you guys are getting a P420 code, this might be worth a try. I might even want to do this one more time tomorrow evening at a similar time just to see if it was a fluke or if it really did help out by reducing the time from seven miles down to under five as if you had a catalyst that was basically borderline faulty this might actually help out now i'm going to go ahead and do this one more time to see if i get a similar result as i'm pleasantly surprised and we'll see what happens and for the long-term review i'm going to go ahead and put on about 500 miles to see if we see a similar fuel economy hey everybody we're going to do the final drive cycle here to see if we could get it under five minutes with the Dura Loop catalyst treatment in there. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the trip meter. I'm gonna start the vehicle and let it run. The temperature is 76 degrees, similar to what we tested in the prior days. And let's see what happens. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and let's go ahead and hit the road and see what happens here. And this will be our final drive before we come to some sort of conclusion after we see how it affects the gas mileage. There we go, the catalyst monitor got ready at six miles. So before, without the catalyst treatment from Duralube we were at over six miles I think 6.9 then we got it down to 4.9 with the treatment in there and now we got to six miles so yeah it is a reduction of time and let's see what actually happens to the fuel economy after we put on another 400 and almost 20 miles then we'll do a quick comparison and I'll give you my honest feedback if you guys are enjoying this video on the catalyst treatment here from Duralu, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Me and the kids do put a lot of time into these videos and getting a 10 year old and a six year old to go ahead and be super quiet as you're filming is not an easy thing. You guys wanna say anything? It is a scrap butcher right now. If you don't, I'll still deliver. If you, if, <laughs> if you don't press it two times, we will grab our beat again, which will announce and that's the deliver. If you don't press it two times, if you press it one time, we just get to your liver. So if they hit the subscribe button twice, they'll, they, they hit on and off. It means nothing. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> you only hit it one time. <laughs> Alright guys, as you guys heard it, if you don't hit the subscribe button, they're going to come and steal your liver. They are my kids. Hey everybody, so I have driven this vehicle a few miles and we can see the fuel economy has actually improved. Before we were at 27 miles per gallon and now we are at 31. I have driven the same exact way. I have not changed the oil or put air in the tire. I have the AC running just like before, if not more because the temperature here in the summertime actually increases. And as far as fuel economy, this is doing pretty good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how much of a difference the Dura Lube catalyst treatment made it as far as setting the catalyst monitor faster. So you guys probably want me to get to the conclusion and here's the conclusion when it comes down to the Dura Lube catalyst treatment is this. It does have some benefits. One of the benefits is going to be the increased fuel economy as we can see here on the screen. I got an 11% increase. This is not the reason to buy it. This is a benefit of the product and if you have a pending code or check engine light or a permanent diagnostic code which i'll have video links down to in the video description you want to go ahead and fix these issues remember there's really no miracles in a bottle so at best you're just buying a little extension of time and if you really want to go and fix your catalyst you need to go ahead and replace it this is just going to allow you to pass possibly this year and maybe in two years, you're going to have to go ahead and replace that catalyst. If you happen to live in California, that's going to be a very expensive 
place to get a new catalyst. There's some workarounds and places you can get catalyst for cheap. I have videos in the link down below. And when it comes down to the actual Dura loop itself, on the base test, we got a 6.9 mile on the very first try. And we tried it again, and we got 4.8 and 6.1. So I took the average of those two, which is about 5.4 miles. So in conclusion, the Dura loop set the catalyst monitor 11% faster. Is this a product that you should try if your catalyst is failing? I would try this out. However, there's really no 100% evidence anybody can give you because no one can show you the condition of their vehicle's catalyst. Just like in my case here, this vehicle did not have a P420 code. It did have a code for something else, which I fixed. However, most of the times when your catalyst fails, these computers are so sensitive that if there's going to be a 5% decrease in efficiency, it's going to go ahead and throw that check engine light off. This is a very complicated manner, and I'm going to show you guys how you can get some additional information now. So in the video description, I'm going to leave you guys a link to this catalyst monitor readiness. So if you're failing because of a catalyst monitor, I have 10 videos that I show you guys some tricks that work really well depending on your vehicle. And I test out some products to show you guys simple solutions and also I have 46 videos where I actually cover this topic in depth with you guys and I show you guys the drive cycle for your vehicle. And if you guys are really struggling with this, the best tip I can give you guys is this. Go ahead and let the vehicle warm up for about 20 minutes and you're going to see a huge difference even without products in a can such as Duralube. And I'll have a link to the product that I showed you guys in the video. And this is nice because it automatically updates once the monitor changes and sets and you don't have to rescan it. This will save you so much time. And it even has a function where it will beep to let you know that it's ready. I don't like that feature myself because it's annoying. However, you can use it and it's a million times better than plugging scan tools and wearing out that port. And I'll have a link to the Dura Loop Severe Catalyst treatment as well. And you'll find all the information that you're looking for at the end of this video in the video links down below. Let me know if you have any comments and questions. If the video was helpful, please comment. And if the video was not helpful and I left something out, please let me know in the video comment down below. You can give the video a thumbs down. I completely understand. Just let me know why so I can make you guys a better video in the future. Thanks.